Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to explore the definition of statistics and its branches, the meaning of data and variable, the definition of population and sample, and the difference between population and sample. Okay, what is statistics? Statistics is a branch of mathematics that deals with the scientific method of collecting, organizing, summarizing, presenting, and analyzing data, as well as withdrawing a valid conclusion and making reasonable decision based on such analysis. So when we're talking about statistics, it has so much to do. The first part is we'll be collecting the data We'll be organizing the data, maybe in the form of table or pictures, summarizing the data using some statistic like mean, median, presenting the data in a valid way and analyzing the data. And the second part of that is, after collecting this data, we'll use this data in making conclusion or inferring about the population. So statistics, it has two big branches. The first one is called the descriptive statistics and the second is called the inferential statistics. When you talk about descriptive statistics, it is the statistics that consist of collection, organization, summarization and presentation of data. So the first part of the definition up here. So descriptive statistics, it deals with the collection of data, the method of collection of data. We'll, we'll go over the method of collection of data later on. Uh, organizing the data, summarizing the data, and presenting the data. When you say organizing the data, it can be in the form of table, graph, summarizing the data using some statistics, and presenting the data. Next part of the statistic is inferential statistic, and inferential statistics consist of generalization from sample to population. So in this one, what we do is we take a sample, we study the sample, and we'll try to predict about the population uh, using the sample. So performing estimations and hypothesis tests are the part of inferential statistics, determining the relationship among the variables and making prediction. So inferential statistics consist of generalization from the sample to population, performing estimations and hypothesis tests, determining relationship among variables and making prediction. In inferential statistics, what happens is inferential statistics uses probability and hypothesis testing in making inferences about the population. Okay, let's now talk about variable, data, population, and sample. When you say variable, Variable is the characteristic or attribute that can assume different values. So whenever we are studying about any group, we have something to study. Maybe say, for example, temperature. Temperature is the variable. Or say, for example, height of individual. That's a variable. So variable is a characteristic or attribute that can assume different values. Variables whose values are determined by chance are called the random variables. So if the variables are selected randomly or selected by chance, then they are called random variables. Now next, data. Data are the values obtained from the measurement or observation that a variable can assume. So in previous example, when I say the variable is temperature, then the data could be 15 degrees Celsius. 17 degrees Celsius, or when I say height of an individual, maybe it is five feet, two inch, or four feet, nine inch, and so on. So data are the values obtained from the measurement or observation of that particular variable. Now in real world, we'll not be able to collect data from everything or every individual under consideration, which is called population. For example, if I want to study the GPA of the university students in America, it is impossible to go to each individual and collect the data about their uh, GPA. So what we do is 
we collect the data from the subset. We select group of uh, university students and then we collect the GPA. So everything under consideration, that's called the population. And if we derive a small set out of that, which is called the subset, then that is a sample. So for example, here, this represents the population. Okay, so this is like all university students at or in, in this country. And then this one is a sample or group of students under my study to study about their GPA. So if we want to define this, this is how we define. Population is the collection of all subjects or individual that are being considered in the study. So everyone who is there for our study, who is considered for our study, that's the population. In real world, as I mentioned up here, it's not possible to study everyone in this population. So what I do is we derive a subset, we select the sample from here, and we study that sample. So this is small group that we obtain from the entire population that is called the sample. So sample is the subset of population or group of subset selected from the population that represents the entire population. So one thing to remember when we select the sample, the sample must be representative. That sample must be able to represent the entire population. Otherwise, our sample will be biased. Okay, after we have the fundamental idea of population and sample, we need to know the key differences between sample and population. First, when I talk about population, population is a quantity which can represent about the population. So, I mean, measurable quantity with some, some fundamentals of it called parameter. So we can say measurable quality is called the parameter. Parameter is about population. For example, if I want to find the mean of the population, it's called population mean, represented by the Greek letter mu. If I want to find the standard deviation of the population, the population standard deviation is sigma. Similarly, if I'm talking about sample, the measurable quality is called statistic. It's not parameter, this should be statistic. For example, sample mean is X bar, Okay, and the sample standard deviation is lowercase s. Remember, the measurable quality is called here, it is statistic. Okay, so the measurable quality is statistic. So sample mean is x bar, sample standard deviation is s. Next thing, the population is called the complete set. So everything under study, that is the population. And sample is just the subset of population. Now, in case of population, the reports are true representation of opinion about the population. Whereas, in case of sample, when you're studying the sample, reports have margin of error and confidence interval. So when we are reporting using the sample, then when I say mean, mean has a margin of error of plus or minus something or we'll give an interval and we say that the true mean lies within this interval at certain confidence level, okay? So the sample, in case of sample, the reports have margin of error and confidence interval. But in case of population, the reports are true representation of the opinion or of, about the parameter. Last difference that we need to know, the population contains all member of a specified group, whereas sample, it is a subset, but it represents the entire population. So it's a subset, but representative. So these are the differences between population and sample. Okay, so in this video, we explore the definition of statistics and its branches, the meaning of data and variable, the definition of population and sample, and the last thing we explore is the difference between population and sample. So that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching.